I will show you how I cut my tabbing wire so I can cut multiple tabbing wires at once and they're all relatively the same length. Here's a 2x4 with two T-pins in it. Just a T-pin from a like what we'd use for a model. If you need to drive it in, drive it into the wood so it's in there good. Now I set mine about three and a half inches apart from pin to pin. Then I drew a line down the middle halfway so to measure your tabbing wire, say you want it a little over three inches or three and a, three and a half inches, you start off with your tabbing wire in the middle lined up with the that halfway mark, wrap it around your, your pin, wrap it around the other end. So there's one round. There's two rounds. Three rounds. And four rounds. And you can lift the tabbing wire up a little bit and hold it together. And then take your cutters and now you have, since I did four rounds, now you're going to have eight tabbing wires the same length. You just have to straighten them out and clean them. So here I have eight tabbing wires all three and a half inches long with one cut. Take some alcohol and a terry cloth and uh, clean it off. Clean off any of the grease from your hands or oils. It'll help to straighten it out. Here I have a 2x4 with a square of tin foil. It's basically just tin foil folded in, into fourths. Um, they act as a heat, heat sink for your solar cell. I have my thermostat on my soldering iron set to just a, a little bit under four. I found a new way of soldering the tabbing wires onto the back of a solar cell, which uh, decreases the amount of time per per solar cell. So I put the solar cell where I'm going to be soldering it on the uh, tin foil. Take a terry cloth and acetone and clean solder points. Take my liquid rosin. Put that on the point where I will be soldering. Okay, so I take the cleaned tab wire without putting solder on the back of the, the solar cell. I just lay it on there and put a weight on top of it. Take my electrical solder, clean your sol soldering iron. solder your tabbing wire on there without putting too much heat into it. increases the number of solar cells you can solder tabbing wire onto and by taking out a, a step that takes quite a bit of time and you, it just reduces the amount of time your solar your solar cell is exposed to the soldering iron instead of two steps of putting solder on there then reheating it and putting the tabbing wire on there it's just one step of putting the tabbing wire and the solder on there and you're less likely to to fry the the silver off the back because your soldering iron is touching the tabbing wire rather than the silver itself. It's, it 
it's much, much quicker. And it's much quicker than this previous videos that I had done. I had shown you how to solder tabbing wire on. So it's a learning process. If anybody has any better ideas, then let me know.